Welcome to our channel. In this lesson, uh, I want us to discuss uh, chemistry form 4. The topic here is uh, metals. Specifically, I want us to cover uh, sodium metal. So, the main focus one, we'll talk about the G4 of sodium extraction process uh, that occurs in uh, down cell, and that process we call it a uh, down process. Then the dead focus will be properties of sodium, that is both physical and chemical properties. And then finally, we'll talk about uses of uh, sodium. So we say the main focus here will be TIFO, the down cell, that's the down process, properties of sodium, uses of uh, sodium. So extraction of sodium, when we have the TIFO, that is the occurrence. So sodium occurs mainly as a rock salt. The common name of rock salt is uh, solid sodium chloride. This is the main O. We also have another O, which is sodium chloride. Now, sodium is uh, a very reactive metal. Therefore, it's extracted by uh, electrolysis of uh, molten sodium chloride by a process called uh, Down's process. And this Down's process occurs in a cell called uh, Down cell. So here we say the reason as to why we use electrolysis uh, to extract sodium is because sodium is a very reactive uh, metal. Now, and I down cell, we need to know the following. One, what it consists of. So, we have ion shell that is lined with the uh, fire bricks on the outside. So, the down cell, it is made up of ion shell. And this ion shell, uh, it is lined with fire bricks on the outside. So we need to know the role of these fire bricks. What is the role of the bricks? So the role of the fire bricks is uh, to maintain high temperatures so that the electrolyte that is a uh, molten sodium chloride does not crystallize out. So the main reason as to why we are using the fire bricks is uh, so that it maintains the high temperature in which the crystals uh, will not crystallize out. Then the down cell again, it is made up of carbon anode we have carbon anode. Since we are talking about electrolysis, then we must have anode and a cathode. So the anode is made up of carbon. And when you are talking about carbon, we are talking about graphite. So where is the carbon anode found? The carbon anode is found at the center of the cell. At the center of the cell, we have a carbon anode. Now, then the dead one now, or what makes again the down cell is a steel cathode. Steel is an alloy, whereby the main metal there is iron. So steel cathode, this one now surrounds the carbon anode. You said carbon anode is at the center of the cell. Then what surrounds the anode is the carbon, I mean is the steel cathode. Now, points to note. The anode is made up of graphite, that is a carbon. And what do you know about graphite? Graphite is a nut, hence it does not react with chlorine gas formed at the anode at even higher temperatures. So the reason now as to why the anode should be made up of graphite is that at the anode, the reaction that will occur there is a uh, loss of uh, chloride ions that will lead to formation of chlorine gas. Therefore, that chlorine gas will not react with the uh, graphite. Why? Because graphite is an art, hence it will not react with chlorine gas formed at the anode at higher temperatures. But what will happen if steel is used at, at the anode? So steel, the main metal there is iron. So iron will react with chlorine to form iron 3 chloride. Therefore, steel cannot, steel cannot be used at the anode. A reason? Because steel will react with chlorine gas formed at the, at the anode. And the reason for that is because we said steel is an alloy. An alloy is a mixture of metals, whereby the main metal here is iron. So a reaction of iron with chlorine gas will occur and therefore that now will lead to formation of uh, iron 3 chloride. And that is uh, the reason as to why the anode should not be made up of uh, steel. Now, what is the role of the steel gas cylinder? Another thing that makes up the down cell is a uh, steel gas cylinder. This steel gas cylinder is found in between the anode and the cathode. Therefore, the role is uh, to prevent sodium and chlorine from recombining. You see sodium ions uh, will be gained at the cathode. We'll come to how the reaction occurs. Therefore, the role of the steel gas cylinder 
or the steel gas diaphragm is to prevent sodium and chlorine from recombining. So what prevents the sodium and chlorine from recombining, that is from reacting, from uh, re reacting, that is from recombining, is the steel gas cylinder that will separate the anode and uh, the cathode. You see it is collected here, at the top of the cell. It is collected at the top of the sodium to be collected at the top of the cell. That property is because sodium is less dense than the electrolyte. Now note that the impurity that will be found in sodium, it will be calcium. So how do you remove this impurity? Now during cooling, what will happen is that this calcium will crystallize out fast. And therefore once it crystallizes out, then it leaves now the molten sodium uh, behind. Therefore that's now how the impurity is uh, removed. So if you want to, to remove the impurity of calcium from sodium, you do or you allow crystallization to take place because calcium will crystallize out fast, leaving behind the sodium. Now next we have physical properties of sodium. One is a good conductor of heat and electricity. Why? Because of presence of delocalized electrons. It's easy to cut. It has a low density. It has a metallic luster when freshly cut. Chemical prop. When we have reaction with chlorine, a metal plus chlorine, you will get a salt. So the observation that you make during a reaction of sodium with chlorine is that sodium reacts with chlorine to form white solid of calcium chloride. So this is how the reaction occurs. You have sodium here plus chlorine gas. You will get sodium chloride, which is a salt. And this is the salt. So you will get sodium chloride. This sodium chloride is the one that you use as a food additive. That's the common salt or the table salt. Now the other reaction is a reaction with dilute acids. Now note that sodium is a very reactive metal. Therefore it reacts with dilute acids explosively. Now a general equation. A metal plus acid you will get salt plus hydrogen gas. Now note the confirmatory test for hydrogen gas is that it <coughs> extinguishes a burning spillant with a pop sound. So the correct chemical test for hydrogen gas is that it extinguishes a burning spillant with a pop sound. The that reaction is a reaction with cold water. Sodium reacts explosively with cold water to form two products. One, we have sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. So this is how the reaction occurs. You have sodium metal plus water here. You will get sodium hydroxide, which is an alkaline. That is an alkali, a soluble base, plus hydrogen gas here. Reaction with air, sodium, how does it burn? It burns in air with uh, a yellow flame to form a mixture of sodium oxide and sodium nitride. That is a white sodium. So this is how the reaction occurs. You have sodium plus oxygen, you will get sodium oxide. Because sodium is a very reactive metal, it will also react with the inactive part of air, which is nitrogen, to form sodium nitride. So I said sodium is a reactive metal, therefore it will also react with an active part of air to form sodium nitride. This is sodium nitride. Sodium nitride. So this is how the reaction occurs. We have sodium here plus uh, nitrogen gas here. You will get sodium nitride. So next we have uses of sodium. One sodium vapor is used in uh, street lamps which gives a uh, yellow-orange light. Now the next one is, uh, it's used in the manufacture of sodium cyanide, which is used in the uh, extraction of gold. Now an alloy of sodium also, an alloy of sodium and potassium is also used as a coolant in nuclear reactors because the alloy is liquid at room temperature. Now the fourth one is uh, an alloy of sodium. An alloy of sodium with lead is also used in the manufacture of uh, tetraethyl lead which is used as uh, an anti-knock additive in petrol. The last one now is uh, sodium is also used as a uh, reducing agent in some of the reactions. So that is the end of uh, our lesson for extraction of uh, sodium. So here we have a sample keys. You have totally studied the diagram below and answer the question that follow. <coughs> so here is the diagram. This is a uh, down cell. So you are told why is the anode made up of graphite in this case instead of steel which is a better conductor of electricity that one you have talked about then how are the electrolytic products separated from reacting then you have give reasons why large quantities of electricity is required for this process so that's the end of our discussion for today for more videos 
make sure you follow us uh, thank you for your time